All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to our first video. Um, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to build a custom made trailer with a little car that goes with it that's also custom. Let me get this guy off of here so I can show you. All right, so this is a model not made for playing with, but you can definitely do it. Um, let's see here. So these are all the pieces that you're pretty much gonna need. I'm just, I just split it into tons of different pieces. This is like the front of the trailer. This is like the whole of it and stuff like that. So let's get started on it. So the base of the actual trailer here is 28 studs long and only eight studs wide. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is first you're gonna wanna build the base like this, with the little door around, what is that, six, six blocks away from the front. And then, you know, the windows are in between the front and the back, in between the door. So, it's that, you wanna leave a little six stud thing in the back here, just for the back piece. You can also build it built into the wall, which I would recommend doing because it looks a lot better. Um. But yeah, and then you want to leave this little space open right here under the window on each side because that's where, oh, <laughs> one second, I haven't put the hole together yet so the doors are going to just flop all over the place because you want to leave that space open for this thing right here to go in there. So then this was uh, 10 blocks wide for two wheels, which is pretty easy. I just use this blue piece to hold it open. You don't have to use blue. So, pretty much this piece is only 10 blocks wide with these little smooths on it. So 10 blocks wide and then 6 blocks long. So that should fit right in here, like this. It goes right in this little spot right here. And this door keeps on falling off because it's really annoying, so don't mind that. Don't mind that because it won't fall off when you guys are doing it because it's not going to fall off when it's whole. But this is what it should look like right here. And then I'm still working on the bed, so just don't mind that. I'm going to put like little stairs or something right here, like little stair blocks. That looks like it's like a nice bed for him. Um, if you're asking what that hole there for, it's that you can like do this. So if you take the character and you pop this little bad boy off. Oh crap. Pop this little bad boy off. You can actually make the character sit like like so if the character would work that'd be nice. Alright. You can take make the character sit right here. And you can grab this little block and pop it back on there. And it'll look like the character is sitting in bed. That's why I did that whole there if you're asking. All right, so now that that's done, we got these pieces right here, which is the countertops and stuff like that. You can also add microwaves in it if you want to. Here's the couch. All right, the car. I'll work. Out. I'll do that in a second. Um, but now this is the roof. Same length as the body. It might not look like it, but it is. In this thing, I put smooths across the top here, all the way around, except for on the front, just so you can pop off the roof if you want to easily, to show people. So now, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna grab the counter right here, and we're gonna wanna flip this over. Then we're gonna pop you in here right here. If it'll pop in, that'd be lovely right now. There we go. So you want this part right here to be facing this quarter. Yeah. Let me flip it on the side that you can see. So this should be fitting in right there. Okay. And this block, I used this. So it's eight blocks long. I'm guessing. No, it's ten blocks long and then eight blocks wide. And then you want to put the little countertops, which are actually very easy to make. It's just a, a, a two by two block with a two by two flat slab on it. Then a, a six by two block with six by two white slabs on it. 
and then you just pop that right next to it right there and then you pop this around here like that all right now we're gonna pop it on here because I don't want to keep you guys waiting because you guys are probably way ahead of me right now all right now you're gonna pop this right in here it's the door that's the problem here all right there we go make sure that's it's nice and solid yeah it's nice and solid now so this is what it should look like and on your hole by the way you do want these two studs here that way this little cabinet right here this little this little failure can just hook right on there like that and now you got your nice little cabinet there kitchen is done now what you're gonna want to grab is this couch and this couch is really easy to make here I'll show you so what you're gonna want to first do is you're gonna want to you know, let me see, try and focus my camera come on focus focus there we go so you're gonna want uh, three three by twos you're gonna line line them up like this then you're gonna grab t uh, a six by two block place it down or six, two six by ones obviously that works too then you're gonna want uh, two two by two slabs and in, in a one with a with a rough top and two smooth uh, two by two slabs so this is how pretty much how you make it right here then you're gonna want to grab a one by six slab on top of two one by two slanted blocks with a four by one then here let me pop these off so it looks better this is gonna be eight blocks long and you want two eight by ones to stack with it then this will hook right here on that left on that one spot that's not there then you're gonna want to build two two by ones on top of this one little two by one slab like that with a little thing on top whatever it doesn't have to be like a vent piece it can be like a smooth piece too I just like the vent because it has a cool patterny look to it um, but what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna hook that underneath here on the back piece so that little open spot right there is supposed to be there and if you don't want to do it that way you definitely can feel free to not a problem and you can also change the color I just did yellow because it was pretty much the best color I got so um, then the couch is complete and if you're asking why there's this little piece here, it's so that you can make a character sit on it. Um, but what we're going to do now is we're going to pick this up here. You can remodel it however you want. Honestly, you can put the kitchen in the back for heaven's sake. Um, we're going to pop this right in between those two windows. Perfectly in between. And then we're going to smack that down right there. So that's what it should look like. Right there. And heck, you could even put like smooth blocks inside here, so you could have a nice looking carpet look, I guess, to it. So yeah, this is what it should look like. Anyway, moving on. Now the now we're gonna add in the bed. So the bed is not finished yet, as you can see. It's I'm still need to fill, fi figure out this thing for the front, and I need to finish the back of it, but. But yeah, this is pretty easy to make. This is only a, let's see here, it's only eight blocks uh, long and four blocks wide. So this is really easy to make, guys. Really easy, like legit. Super easy. Anywho, you guys are, you guys don't probably know don't know need a tutorial to make this. All you need is two one by ones here. Let me take the character out again. Oh, oh, I just decapitated him. Oh no. Alright. Here we go. So what you're gonna need is two one by one uh white blocks. Slab cement right here. Then you're gonna need one one by four uh one by four rough slab for underneath this one by four smooth slab. One by four smooth gray slab right here. Then you can just do smooth any type right here. And right here if you want to. I need to turn that music up a little bit. I like that song. All right, then right here, you're just gonna place the bed anywhere. I just suggest actually doing it right. Sorry, my hands in the way. I'd recommend doing it like this. 
just because it's a better way of putting it there. Make sure that's in there. This is what it should look like. You can pause the video whenever you like, by the way. You're probably ahead of me on that. <laughs> and this should hook right here, but it's not going to yet because there's nothing there, right? That's where this piece right here comes in handy. Now you're just going to want to hook this piece to where just the four piece, the four side of it, the four by four is sticking out. Like this. And you can build this piece any way you'd like. I just used a two by four and a four by six and connected them together with this little piece. Then I just put whatever I want on top. You don't have to make it like this, but if you want to, quite simple. And then this little piece right on the front here is if you want to put like a headlight on the trailer or make something cool like a make a flag stand or something like that. That's what that's for. Um, then you're going to hook this right on top here. And you have to make sure it's the 4x4 piece, not the other side, because it won't fit right if it doesn't. It's supposed to line up with these two. Like that. Then this is what it should look like, obviously. Then we're going to grab this little back piece right here. As I said before, you can always make your custom back piece like built in because it, it doesn't look as good with this. Um, I'm going to be making another tutorial soon about like Lego weapons and stuff. Oh, come on, man. Just hook on there. Come on. Why did I put the front end before? <laughs> that way it could balance. That'd be lovely. Um, so you're going to hook this on to where it balances perfectly. It's going to be a little hard to get on there, but whatever. So it should look like. Then you're going to want to grab this little piece right here. And you're going to hook that on. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Oh, no. This piece got stuck to it when I was working on something. Oh, crap. There we go. All right, so this is going to hook on right here. Wait a second. So there's two, uh, two sides for these little things right here. All right, so you're going to hook this giant piece on, which is the same length. Look just like stairs and stuff. It's really easy to make. You should use pretty much random blocks and just make it the same length. And that would be 28 studs long and 8 studs wide, if you're asking again. So, here you go. Then we're just going to pop that on there. And it's very easy to take off, too, because it's only just that one little piece. So, you're going to want to just do this. So, you can just pop it off, like, super easily without having to worry. Then it should leave that little piece there. All right, and then when you're done, you can just pop it back on. Then you got this little thing here. And you're good. And then your car now, we're just gonna pop off the roof of here because this is easy. This car is very easy to make. It's very custom, but it does. So this thing would be, let's see here. This thing is 18 blocks long and six blocks wide. Now this is very awkward, but it, it's very nice. I just used a custom body piece for it because the other body pieces suck for it. Um, it's actually the same body piece that's on the trailer right here, but it's custom version, see? It's the same exact length, same exact width of that great piece. So, but it's, I made it custom, so now this piece this thing is quite easy to make. For the front, it's really easy because the front is probably the easiest part. I just popped off a piece of the brick. I was trying to pop off the front. Wow. So the front is quite simple. You just use two vent, two uh, two by one vent pieces, and two uh, clear studs, and a one by six smooth slab on top of a two by six flat block, and you pop it right under here. See this little spot right here? You just want to pop it right under there. Like that. And then I just pop off another brick. What, what is wrong with me right now? 
Now the car is a lot more stable than the trailer. Do not, I do not recommend doing doing a drop test on the trailer because that would be very bad. Um, and that's pretty much that. Then you have two seats in here, the steering wheel. Um, four seats actually, but two seats in the front, two seats in the back. Then you have your storage compartment back here. I'm, I'm gonna try and find another clear one of these things so that I can put it on the back. But yeah, that's that for now. Um, oh my gosh, I didn't even pop this thing on right. There we go. I didn't push it in. So this is what it should look like. And then you obviously want your little trailer piece here. I'll pop that off too so I can show you it. I popped the chair off, but I don't care. This is what it should look like. You want a 2 by 4 and then you want this little piece right here. You need this piece for it because that's what hooks the trailer to the car. And then you just hook that right here. Like that. Then you want your roof piece right here. Quite easy to make. Oh crap. You wanna pop that on right there. And you got your car. Well, and the, the, there's the chair that I told you I popped out. All right, so this is what the car should look like. And then the back piece is actually quite simple too. I'll show you the back piece real quick. So this is what the back hooks onto. These little two studs. This is what the back should look like. Two little uh, vent pieces and two real red block studs. Now, this is where it hooks right above the hinge. And that's what the car should look like. And then after, this is what it should look like. You should heal the hook, the trailer onto the car. Let's see here. Hook it on. I just need to find the hinge. There it is. Oh, come on. I can't do this with one hand, man. I'm trying to hold the camera. It's really annoying. Okay. There we go. All right. So now what we're going to want to do is I'm going to need to pick you up real quick. Put you up here. Let me move all this crap out of the way. All right. I have tons of junk up here from when I'm working on stuff. All right. So you're gonna hook that up. Wow. <laughs> it's so hard to do with one hand in. I'm just gonna do it like this real quick. Excuse me guys, this is I am very sorry about this truly. All right, now we're just gonna want to kind of hook this up here. Where? We... All right, like that. This is what it should look like. A easily drivable, easily turnable. And that's the video, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, smash the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And um, yeah. I'll see you all in the next video. So here's just another quick look at what the top of it looks like inside the trailer. Like that. Heck, you can even add like a nice like exterior look to it. Add some stickers and crap to make it look like there's stripes on it. You can even like add like different stuff to it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.